Hey, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about new portable cassette players, new Walkmans. Are they as good as the classics? We'll find out. Now, I already know what you're thinking. There's no way a brand new unit is going to be as good as the classics. Well, you know, I would tend to agree with you, but we're still going to give it a fair shake. Now, the one that I picked for this, I got on Amazon. It was about $24, and it was introduced on Amazon at the end of 2022. So I've got to assume that this was a new production model. I picked a Jensen. Uh, it wasn't a great brand back in the day, but at least it was a brand. Now, I'm sure some Chinese company has just purchased the name and thrown it on the box, but I figured if any of them out there should be good, it should be one that's a brand name like Jensen, right? Now, why would anybody even want one of these? Well, not everybody has the skills that we do as far as replacing belts and servicing these old machines. A lot of these are 30, 40 years old by now. So if you're wanting to get into cassettes, but you don't want to buy something, spend $100 or more that you may have to fix or may not work, a lot of people are going for the new ones. So I figured we may as well give them a fair shake and see how they work, what the features are, and see if we like it or not. So let's dig into this Jensen a little bit more. All right, so first impressions of the Jensen. Kind of a cheap box, but you'd expect that nowadays, right? Well, let's kind of look and see what, what they're saying about this thing. Limited edition color. Ooh, it's red. Okay. Uh, but they are calling it a stereo cassette player with AM FM radio. So that's that's kind of along with the uh, kind of classic theme here. It says it has a line out jack, headphone jack, detachable belt clip. And if we spin it around, play fast forward and stop, auto stop, detachable belt clip, stereo earbuds included, which I'm sure those are terrible, but Hey, if you're just starting out, you need something, right? And it's run off of two AA batteries. So that's what they're saying about it. Now, did anybody from my generation catch anything that uh, caught their attention on that list of features there? I'll give you a second to think back. Play, fast forward, and stop. Does that mean there's no rewind on this? Let's, uh, let's open it up and see what's in the box. And we'll talk about that a little bit more here in a second. But uh, anybody that's, that's my age and grew up in the late 70s or early 80s will totally know what I'm about to say on that. But uh, here's the unit. I mean, it's, it's light, it's cheap, but to be fair, it doesn't really feel any different than an inexpensive portable cassette player from back in the day. Um, you know, they, they were all pretty cheap. Uh, we've got uh, AM FM radio with an analog tuning dial. Does have a headphone jack and a line out jack, which is kind of cool. AM FM selector. Let's look at the top here. Got uh, tape and radio or volume control. And stop, fast forward, and play. And then a uh, DCN three volts right there. So, so that's interesting. So. What does that mean? It doesn't have rewind. Well, if we look inside the cassette deck here, we can see that only one of the spindles is actually a spindle. The uh, supply reel is free wheeling. There's not even any teeth on that. So that means that it's a super cheap mechanism. I mean, some of you may remember back in the day, the blister pack uh, portable stereos that uh, grandma would buy you that, that had the cheap headphones, the cheap cassette player that sounded terrible and it only had fast forward and uh, play and stop so yeah if you want to rewind your tape you've actually got to flip it over and uh, fast forward it to get it to rewind now we'll take a look at the mechanism here looks like a standard pretty cheap mechanism we'll see if we can get a shot of the heads in here so yeah not the not the best quality thing well let's uh let's get some double a batteries put in here and See what it sounds like. All right, so we got batteries in the unit, and I played around with it a little bit, and I can verify that it actually is a stereo head in there. 
Uh, I could I could hear the stereo separation in the uh, hilariously cheap earbuds that came with it. And I've got some external speakers plugged into the line output. And I'll let you be the judge of the sound quality yourself. Uh, it's so substandard that I'm not even going to do a direct capture of it. I don't think it's even worthy of that. I mean, it's pretty bad. Um, but uh, so we're going to go ahead and plug in our tape with our YouTube audio library. Now I'm going to start this. I'm going to walk a little bit closer to the speakers to get the uh, the sound into the mic a little bit better. But uh, when you hit play, before the music starts, you can actually hear all of the buzzing and noise that's coming off of the tape. And just listen for it yourself to see what you think. Now granted, I did not expect this thing to be great, uh, but it's not even, <laughs> it doesn't even meet my minimum expectations for something like this, but I mean, what can you expect? The cassette has been dead for years. Let's go ahead and stop that. Now, one other thing that I did notice, if we flip this over so that we can rewind it and we hit fast forward, you can see the tape moving in there. Now, once it gets to the end, it does automatically stop. So the auto stop function does seem to work. If we try to play it, it kicks right back off. So at least they got that part right. But overall, a pretty disappointing cassette player. I mean, I think if somebody were getting into cassettes and this was all they had, they would probably be so disappointed, think cassette sounded so bad, that they would immediately get out of them and say, no wonder why everybody hated cassettes. That's not true. Cassettes can sound really, really good. Uh, let me grab one of my older units uh, from back in the day. We'll throw the same tape in it and see if it sounds any better, see what we think. All right, so this is my Sony Walkman from back in the day. Uh, this is a WMFX401 model. Now this was not top of the line by any stretch of the imagination, but it was a good model from Sony, uh, did the trick. Now it has fast forward and rewind on it, so you can actually re rewind your tapes in this one. You've got a tape selector for normal or chrome or metal. It's got auto reverse. It's got uh, AM FM tuner that's digital with presets on it. You've also got uh, automatic volume leveling. You've got FM sensitivity selection. It's a really, really nice model that you know, you can still pick up for relatively cheap. I think these go for between 50 and 100 bucks. And the sound quality, to me, is so much better. It's, a, it's an, actual, uh, an actual cassette mechanism in one of these and not just some Chinese toy from, you know, Amazon. But if we hit play on it, to me, the sound quality is just night and day difference. You got crisper highs, deeper lows, there's less distortion. To me, this is, this is what people should be buying if they're looking for a, a portable cassette deck, a Walkman, nowadays. I think if you get one of these, you're not going to be immediately disappointed in how cassettes sound. And I think this could be the start for somebody to really get into the tape hobby and really enjoy themselves. So if I had to compare them, the new Jensen, probably going to go in the trash. I don't think I would give this to my worst enemy. So, unfortunately, not a good review for it. I was hoping that this thing would actually end up being pretty decent, that it would exceed my expectations and be something that I could recommend to people to use who are wanting to get into cassettes. But I just, uh, I can't with a clear conscience do that. So, <laughs> my opinion is stay away from the new production cassette players, whether they're portable or full size, doesn't matter, boom boxes, stay away from them. And if you want to get into it, I would look at getting into it with a good working serviced classic like my Sony here. Uh, just my opinion. I'm sure everybody else has uh, their own thoughts with it. Let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Make sure you like the video and subscribe. We'll have some more stuff coming out soon. 
But until next time, I've been Chad. This has been the Vintage Electronics Channel, and we'll see you next time.